Coming up on this week's news, the IET has revealed that neutral current diversions can hit up to 67 amps. The government says you can put a heat pump at your neighbour's fence, and the NIC EIC unveils a route to recognition for experienced domestic electricians. Welcome to Electrical News Weekly, whether you're listening in the van, on site, or down at the wholesale counter. I'm Joe Robinson, and I've been through the best of the electrical industry news to save you the trouble. And if you think you've spotted the two words that I've been challenged to slip into this week's show, comment with them below for the chance to win a prize. The author of the wiring regulations is warning the trade this week about the high currents that can be found in a neutral current diversion. A survey by the IET has revealed that currents can reach up to 67 amperes during the fault. The average current measured during the incidents compiled by the survey was 12 amps. One electrician reported no current at first, but when a neighbour switched something on, boom, 43 amps suddenly appeared. It's all down to network impedance and load distribution. In another case, a gas installer investigating sparks on the gas installation pipework when a nut was undone recorded the presence of almost four amps. Now gas engineers are being trained to use vault sticks and network rail has gone so far as issuing them to staff for the same reason. Neutral current diversion can happen in the event of the loss of a protective earth neutral conductor on a TNCS electrical supply. The installation then loses its intended connection to neutral and earth. The current is diverted and will find its way back to the supply transformer any way it can. One common route for it is through shared metallic pipework such as gas and water pipes. The IET warns that many TNS supplies may not be as pure as you might think. It strongly advises treating TNS as PME unless you know for certain that it's TNS back to the transformer. The survey also revealed that the majority of incidents are not being reported to the DNO. Only 49% of electricians said that they called in the issue. The IET says the right thing to do is to call 105 and get it logged. I'll pop a link to the full advisory in the show notes. The government has rewritten the rules this week for installing heat pumps. It's scrapping the major planning requirement that the kit be located at least one metre away from the neighbouring property. The change could open the door for millions more installations across England. Octopus Energy says that over a quarter of its customers were affected by the one metre rule. In London, that rises exponentially due to the number of terraced houses. Previous concerns over noise are less of an issue with newer devices, but units will still be required to operate below a certain volume level. The planning changes also include a relaxation of the rules for the size and number of heat pumps that households can install. However, consumer groups are warning that the high upfront cost is still a major barrier to installs. In response, the government says it's exploring innovative financing models such as heat pump subscriptions. In other news, the NIC EIC has unveiled two new ways for experienced domestic electricians who've been flummoxed by the existing system to get recognition for their skills. The organisation has expanded its experienced worker assessment programme to include a new route for sparks who specialise in residential work. This means they can now work towards a recognised level 3 qualification, opening doors to new jobs, opportunities and industry recognition. The NIC has also launched a new entry test for seasoned professionals who don't have a level 2 qualification. This this test is open to sparks who typically have over 10 years as a practicing electrician. It assesses your core knowledge and understanding and if you pass you can move on to the full EWA. The first exam window opens in July 2025 and the NIC EIC will be the first approved centre to offer it. The body says it's responding to increasing demand from electricians seeking formal recognition of their skills. The link to the full requirements is in the show notes. Thousands of UK energy customers are set to receive payouts of up to £1,000 each following a stinging review by the regulator Ofgem into how suppliers were switching people onto prepayment meters without their permission. Over £70 million is being handed out. Some customers will get £40 to £500, depending on how badly their supplier botched the process, but there's payouts of £1,000 for what Ofgem called inappropriate installations. That's where the meter was forcibly fitted in ways that completely ignored the rules. The scandal blew up in 2023 when energy prices soared. Energy firms often remotely switched smart meters to prepay mode, or worse, sent agents with locksmiths and even the police to forcibly install new meters. British Gas especially came under fire when it was revealed that its agents broke into the homes of vulnerable people to fit the meters. Customer Aaron King from Kent lost his job and fell £160 behind on his energy bills. The next thing he knew, agents had broken in, installed a prepayment meter and charged him over 400 quid for the police and locksmiths. Companies coughing up include EDF, Eon, Octopus and Scottish Power. Sounds like some customers are getting vengeance to me. In product news this week, there's been a recall of a small quantity of ACO heat detectors. A number of EI3014 models was produced with plastic coverings which incorrectly stated that they could also detect carbon monoxide. 
This could have resulted in customers being unaware that the alarm they have installed is for heat detection only and cannot detect carbon monoxide. This British made product therefore doesn't meet the requirements of the general product safety regulations of 2005, says the Office for Product Safety and Standards. The issue has been isolated to a small production batch and affected consumers have been contacted directly. I've put the affected batch numbers in the show notes. Now, following on from our triumphant time spent at CEF Live last week with Robus and Marshall Tuflex, we've got our next trade show visit coming up. Gary and I will be heading back to the NEC on Tuesday the 24th of June to hang out with Hive on Stand 5 H80 at the Installer Show. So if you missed us the first time round, pop down to say hello and check out all the amazing kit that they have to offer. We hope to see you there. Now, Welcome to our Electrical News Weekly feature where we focus on a specific product area. This week we're feeling the cool breeze of HVAC. Zender has unveiled the Comfo Air Q600 with Comfo Climb, which combines space heating and air tempering in a single unit. This clever bit of kit sets the air temperature and dehumidifies it before it's distributed to individual rooms. This results in your customer having their chosen air temperature during both warm and cold periods. The Q600 provides passive house certified levels of heat recovery efficiency, as well as passive dehumidification and F7 filtration. It also meets building regulations part O for overheating. If you're not familiar with it, Extractor Fan World is the UK's leading ventilation e-commerce site. It sells all types of domestic extraction and air treatment kit. Having been in the game for 15 years, these guys know what's good and what sucks when it comes to fans. One of its recent innovations that's attracting a lot of attention is its decentralised mechanical extract ventilation fan, or DMEV for short. You can think of the DMEV as a standalone extractor fan that's packed with clever features. It can help improve indoor air quality and prevent mould and condensation issues by continuously extracting stale air and moisture. The latest addition to the platform's tornado range is... Deep breath, the ST100 DMEV HT. As well as looking cool, this fan boasts an integrated humidistat and timer function, fully adjustable airflow settings, and a near silent operation. The boost setting delivers a whopping 35 litres per second through its high pressure axial impeller, making this one of the more powerful fans on the market. The unit can be installed with constant and switch live connections, allowing the fan to be triggered through both humidity and manually. It can also be installed with only a constant live for automatic triggering by humidity only. Extractor Fan World offers next day delivery and is rated 4.8 out of 5 on Trustpilot. Switchgear maker Dupka has unveiled a special RCD for heat pump installs. The brand has echoed recent warnings that standard Type B RCDs may trip unexpectedly when subjected to leakage currents above 1 kHz or worse, the detection circuit may be blinded. This will result in the device not detecting residual currents under fault conditions. That's because under current standards Type B RCDs don't provide protection above that frequency. In heat pumps, however, the inverter can operate at frequencies of up to 20 kHz. Dupka says this is a recognised issue for larger inverter applications in industrial installations. The brand's Type B RCCBs, by contrast, will operate up to 150 kHz, far beyond even the VDE standard. The company's DFS HP comes in two and four pole options and features an optimised short time delay. This delay circuit reduces unwarranted tripping resulting from transient peaks associated with heat pump control. The company has produced a Type BRCD application guide and I've put the download link in the show notes. The Vought Invisible Mini is a compact heat recovery ventilation unit perfect for both homes and commercial spaces. It recovers up to 80% of thermal energy while ensuring low 64 watt power use and whisper quiet operation. Designed for void mounting, it suits studio flats, small apartments and hotel rooms. Key features include two speeds, compatibility with 100mm and 125mm ducting and multiple versions with summer bypass, full summer bypass and a humidity sensor for automatic speed control. It's EC brushless motors and high efficiency heat exchanger guarantee 100% filtered fresh air, all packed in a discreet IPX2 rated casing. Valent is currently marketing its latest heat pump, the Aerotherm Plus. The Aerotherm Plus is the first heat pump from the brand to use the refrigerant R290. This natural refrigerant is highly efficient and more environmentally friendly than standard refrigerants. It's available in outputs from 3.5 to 12 kilowatts and has a super low global warming potential of just three. That's our Electrical News Weekly Roundup of products or people that we think deserve some attention. Next week, lighting controls that you won't want to alter or delete. Now, our learner of the week this week is Max Young. Max is a super enthusiastic electrical installation student at Hugh Baird College in Bootle, Merseyside. He did his first ever post on LinkedIn this week to showcase his college work. With a little help and encouragement from Gary, who noticed the post, he then put up some more of his work. 
by the very next morning and within 12 hours of joining LinkedIn, he'd been approached with a potential work experience opportunity. Needless to say, he was absolutely buzzing about it. Gaz says it's a brilliant example of how it's never too late to start and how powerful LinkedIn can be for young people trying to break into the trade. Finally, a reminder that there's still time to win a pair of tickets for the Oasis reunion in the Schneider Electric promo. The company is offering two premium club hospitality tickets in its What's the Story promotion. The Oasis tickets offer some of the best seats in the stadium and access to exclusive bars. You'll also get Oasis merch and a £50 Uber voucher to get you home afterwards. Runner-up prizes are pretty cool too. They include Ticketmaster and Apple Music gift cards in values from 50 quid to 250 quid. To enter, spend £250 on Schneider products at participating wholesalers and you'll receive an entry ticket. Simply scan the QR code on your competition entry ticket to access the entry form. The competition closes at the end of June 2025. Now, if you're wondering what to watch next, we recommend the review of Gordon and Gary's trip to the Intersolar Show in Germany. That's because it's packed with pretty awesome innovations in photovoltaics, batteries, and EV chargers, all of which will be coming to a wholesaler near you soon. I've put the link to that in the show notes. And our usual reminder that we're in the market for your stories, your projects, and your recommendations as we'd like to share them with the wider eFix community. Over the next few weeks, we'll be featuring lighting controls, product innovations, and wiring accessories. So send us pictures of your installs, or let us know if you've come across any new kit or companies that are making your job easier, or any products that you think deserve a shout out. And just before we get to your favorite bit of the show, where I reveal last week's challenge words and winners, we want to thank our premium partners. We couldn't make the news without you. First up, they're the people who've created the Swiss Army knife of solar inverters, along with all weather batteries, very much the boy scouts of the solar industry it's sunsink doubling down on terminal screws in their top quality circuit protection products and building innovative isolating units with built-in surge protection it's whitecliff electrical distribution next with deep commitments to the economy the environment and the electrical community they're so much more than an electrical distributor the self-styled experts in shifting boxes it's nylon up next for all your circuit protection needs, they're like having an Italian star striker in your premiership team, it's Ludum Palazzoli. In an age of energy uncertainty, if you're looking for your next EV charge point to install, then helping you charge into the future with confidence, powering the future together, it's Rolex. And now suspend your disbelief like you suspend a cable tray. If you need to get any piece of building services equipment into the air and keep it there, then check out Zipclip. With their new award-winning Lumo consumer unit and offering complete product support from their highly trained team, it's CPN Qdis. And with over 5,000 product lines from heating, lighting, ventilation to wiring accessories, if you need it, they've got it. It's electrical distributor CED Group. Don't forget to use the code EFIX30 to claim your 30% discount on top quality light fittings from Philips and Ecolink. Download the Lum Expert app today and make your life easier and less expensive. It's the light of our lives, Signify. And the best thing to come out of Yorkshire since stainless steel, the home of EV Ultra and other groundbreaking and quality products, it's Doncaster Cables. Click the links in the show notes to find out more about these great brands. If you think you know the words I've smuggled into this week's show, pop your guess into the comments. We'll take all the correct guesses and select one at random to be the winner of an eFix goodie bag prize. Answers submitted after about lunchtime on the Thursday after release will not be entered into the draw. Now, because of my time off last week, we're going to reveal two weeks' worth of winners today. For the episode that went out on the 27th of May, the challenge words were perplexed and sachet, and I had to be extremely generous with the spelling on that last word, but the person to be plucked from our electronic hat was Jason FKM5MQ, who I think has won a couple of times before, so great work, Jason. Mm -hmm. And for the episode that went out on the 2nd of June, the words were frogmen and deleterious, and the winner for last week was good friend of the show, Dave Frizzell3882. He also sent me a lovely comment about my week off. It didn't influence his winning the competition, but it's nice to be nice. Well done both. Make sure you click the link in the show notes to claim your prize. Thanks for listening to this episode of Electrical News Weekly. Make sure you subscribe to receive the next update. Thanks for listening. And until next time, have a great week. Stay safe out there. And remember, there's no such thing as a taut calibrated arm.